Hello, good day YouTube followers. Thank you for subscribing for my video. If you've not done that, please do. And welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, today I will be showing you uh, an application that I built using Visual Studio, Microsoft Visual Studio 2015, uh, and with Visual Basic .NET framework. Okay, and the database I, I used is Microsoft SQL Server. And as you can see here, right here, I've prepared my tables. Everything is okay. The database is complete. And I've done the coding. If you look at the Solution Explorer, you will see that all the forms necessary for it are done, okay? And right now, I'll be running the program to show you. This is, an act this is actually a program that I designed for my project, the Cyber Cafe application, as you can see. It's meant to secure a cyber cafe. I designed it for my application in school, okay? The program is up, then it says, press enter key to log in. So, I'm pressing any key, I'll be able to enter user details and log in. But for now, I don't have any ticket, so I can't log in, okay? What I have here is guest account. That means I have to enter the ticket details, username of the ticket and the password if I can log in. But right now, I want to get the ticket detail, okay? So let me go in, admin. Enter the admin username, okay? Admin password, enter key, and it opens up this, okay? Right now, we can add a user, okay? Cool. We can add a user, and I have, okay? I have, for instance, let me open A, okay? Let's say Chris. Chooks, okay? Then let me use an MB chips and my password one two three four. Okay. So I attempt to register. So let's play add it. Really chips can't say yeah. Okay? So that's fine. So we can as well clear. We can as well clear. We can as well put in ABC. For instance, I want to delete it. I hit delete. Successfully deleted. Okay? Then ABC goes away. It's same thing. If I say XYZ. XYZ delete XYZ successfully deleted. Okay, that's cool, man. So let's just play cancel and get back. Okay, let's try to generate ticket. Let's try to generate ticket. Yeah, so here you can generate a ticket. You can choose the quantity, time, choose how many hours you want. The amount that each ticket will be sold. Okay, for instance, this ticket will be sold for. Okay, let's say fifty dollars. That's fine. That's fine. Generate ticket. So here, right here, we have the ticket. It says success. We can decide to print the ticket. All right. We can go for Foxy 3D printer. Apply. Print. That's cool. All right. All right. Give me another name. Save. Okay, so these are the tickets. For instance, I want to log in with this ticket. So I'm going to copy the ticket details. Control C, minimize. So I'm closing this. There are other things I can do, like I can view reports for today, I can view transaction reports. So if I click, if I choose a day and view the report, it shows me the number of tickets generated for today. Okay, this is 50. This is amount. I uh, close this. You can as well view ticket details. Okay, you can see a lot of things, including this. This is the date of the first use, the so time, date of expiring, and many other things, including the ticket username and password. The generator, the staff who created the ticket. You can see most of them were made by admin. Okay. All right. Now. If we decide to view the tickets by today, we have these are the tickets that were created for today. That's cool, I think. All right. So if we go by the day by the user who created them, okay, we can say admin, okay. View. Now it shows you tickets that were made by admin. There are very many of them, okay. 
very many of them. All right. So the same thing happens in the rest of it. But right now we're gonna close. Okay? So I'm closing this. We can change password for admin. But I don't wanna change it. Okay? We can decide to log out. We can check about the application, like you can see, it was designed by me for my project in school. Okay? So I don't want to keep the application, but rather I want to log out. Okay? Let's log out. Now we can enter our ticket details that I've copied initially. Okay? Okay? Right now, we can log in using our tickets. Okay? Then it says, total time remaining for this ticket is 2,600 minutes. You still have some minutes left, okay? That's cool. So let's get in and start browsing. So if you click OK, you'll be able to do whatever you are doing. And your ticket starts counting down. I think that's fine. So it's click, click to pause and continue later. That's cool. So if you do this, you can see it. Pressing enter key, it gets you back. Then we can log out. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. So, that is the much of the application. I'm going to cancel. You can see, pressing alternate, alternate effort cannot close the application. That's cool. So, right now, I have to stop the application. Okay? So, to stop the application, I may need to log in as admin. I have to log in as admin. Okay? Then I will quit the app. I think that's cool. Thank you for watching this video. If you do like me to do some of your projects, applications for you, please contact me at my email akuderaja at gmail.com. Thanks for watching this video. Do subscribe for later videos. I have many ones that I want to show you also.